Hi everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com and today I'll be taking a look at the OWC 240GB solid state drive. This particular model is for the mid-2012 MacBook Air. Now make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video because I do have some negative things to say about this drive and OWC. And uh, I've actually been wanting to do this video for quite a while and the clips that you're looking at are actually way back from September. Anyway, starting off with the unboxing, of course, you get the SSD, which is nicely packaged and well protected inside of the box. Here we have a screwdriver, which is used for removing the screws from the bottom of your MacBook Air. There are several of them to remove, and some actually have some blue adhesive on it, which helps it keep into place, so you need to use a little bit of extra effort sometimes. Also, you get this black screwdriver, which is used for removing the single screw that keeps your SSD properly mounted to your MacBook Air's logic board. And moving on to the SSD that itself, which they actually just kind of threw into this little case, I'll call it, which is typically used for RAM modules, so full-length desktop RAM sticks. This is the type of case that that would be securely put into for transport and things like that. So once I remove the OWC sticker, you can see that there's plenty of room for the SSD to sort of roam around in. I can't imagine this causing too many issues, but it just seems a little uh, careless on their end. Here's the SSD itself. It has a blue PCB. For the NAND flash modules, it actually is courtesy, or they are actually courtesy of SanDisk. The thermal pad is on top of the SSD's controller. Here is the other side of the SSD. You can see more of the SanDisk flash NAND modules. And there is the proprietary and that goes onto your Air's logic board. Now peeling back the thermal pad just a little bit, you can see that the controller is controlled by a SandForce controller, so it definitely offers plenty of performance. This is also a SATA 3 6 gigabit per second drive, so you can have speeds of up to about 550 megabytes per second for both read and write. More on that towards the later part of the video. Installing the SSD into your MacBook Air is actually incredibly simple. All you have to do is remove all of the screws from the bottom plate of your MacBook Air, remove the one screw that keeps the SSD onto the logic board, swap that one out with the OWC SSD, screw that into place, and then put your bottom plate and all of its screws back into place. So before you actually swap out your old SSD, you need to make sure you do a time machine backup so that you could restore that backup onto this SSD and pick up right where you left off from the original stock Apple drive. And if you're actually dealing with Windows, you could actually go ahead and use a tool called WinClone to back up your existing Windows partition into a single file. Then after you get your new OWC SSD partitioned, you could actually restore that backup and continue where you left off from Windows as well. Now, before I get into the performance benchmarks and numbers, I need to say that the first review unit that I received actually did not work. It was dead on arrival. When I put it into my MacBook Air, it was not detected, but as soon as I swapped that out with the original stock SSD, that one showed up just fine. And OWC sent me out a second one. That one worked for a while, more on that in a little while. So onto the benchmarks for the unit that was actually working for a while, hint, hint. So this is what we're looking at. In terms of raw reads and write speeds, this is what it looks like when compared to the Apple SSD. As you can see, the Apple SSD is actually a little bit faster in most of the tests. So the horizontal axis actually deals with the size of the data that's being transferred from the computer over to your SSD. So it goes everywhere from half a megabyte all the way up to eight megabytes in size. Obviously when you're dealing with larger files, those transfer quicker than a bunch of small ones. And for most of the tests, the Apple SSD was actually a little bit faster. Can you notice that sort of thing? Probably not. So to most people, this shouldn't really matter. But for those of you who like numbers, this is what they look like. Also, if you're actually wondering where these numbers came from, these came from Windows through a program called Addo Disk Benchmark. It's typically a standard program that's used when testing the raw transfer speeds for drives, so this is where those numbers came from. Now for the negative part. I'm sorry I don't have any other clips to show you. This is all I recorded, so you're just going to have to look at me opening the SSD up. Anyway, the 
first unit that I received, as I mentioned a little earlier, was actually dead on arrival, so it did not work. When OWC sent me the second drive, that one worked without any problems, and that's again where these performance numbers came from. However, after one month of using it, so from September to October, it all of a sudden died. I was in the middle of using my MacBook Air, all of a sudden the audio that I was playing through iTunes stopped. My cursor would still move, but I wouldn't. if I were to click on something, I couldn't move any of the windows. Then shortly after that, my cursor stopped moving, so the OWC SSD died. The second one that they sent me broke. And then when I told OWC about this, they pretty much said that this is something that SSDs can do. After a while, they will typically die down and stop working. This is sort of normal. But my issue is that it happened in just one month of usage. For their first SSD that they sent me to not work at all on arrival, and for their second one to die after a month, that right there tells me enough about OWC's reliability to where I don't think people should risk their data and time and money in their products. I mean, that's that's just the way it is. So for them to simply say that this is normal wear and tear of a solid state drive and for it to just die like that, that to me, from both a consumer standpoint and sort of person who reviews tech, that just doesn't seem acceptable. So that's my video on the OWC solid state drive for the mid-2012 MacBook Air. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. But that is it with this video, so thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you all very soon.